nearly three weeks ago, I was told that I have a brain tumour. I spent the past three weeks thinking I have a brain tumour. Been through a lot of different kind of emotions. Angry. Upset. Angry. Confused. I'm wondering why I hadn't heard anything. So I decided to ring Adam Brooks two days ago. And the receptionist told me to ring back again yesterday, which I did. And then it all changed again. Because <laughs> they said to me that they don't think it's a brain tumour. Which I don't understand. There's a lump in my head this big and I don't know what it is but it's probably not a brain tumour. What is it? I haven't been sleeping very well. Last night I didn't sleep very well. What the fuck? The whole world thinks I have a brain tumour. I've got to go out and answer questions of how I feel and why I haven't been seen at Adam Brooks yet. Why haven't they cut my brain open yet? Everybody seems to want to know this and I can't give them answers. <clears throat> the receptionist at Adam Brooks said that if I hadn't made the phone call then I would still be sitting in limbo because they got a copy of my scans from my brain but they didn't get the letter, the referral letter from Ipswich, which I don't understand because I got a letter from Ipswich saying that they'd sent the same information to Adam Brook, which is obviously a lie. So if I hadn't bothered to ring them yesterday, I would have been disregarded and forgotten about, left to think I have a brain tumour. Where does that leave me now? I was already in limbo. Now I'm a little bit more detached from myself, from my life. I can't draw, <laughs> I can't think. When I eat I feel sick. I can't sleep, when I sleep I don't feel any better for it. I, f I feel like a fraud in my own life. <laughs> I've stepped in the shoes of Kelly <laughs> and I'm pretending on a daily basis that this is me. <laughs> How can it be? <laughs> I tried to do a self portrait from a photograph and I couldn't draw. I haven't felt like I can't draw in a few years. <laughs> it's normally just second nature now, but I'm, I'm just existing in a shell of me at the moment. I've been trying to write down how I feel. Really, really hard. This is really hard. I'm trying to say this all out loud. It's been. The only place that is consistent is in here, and even this isn't me. <laughs> so how, where do I stand with that? My thoughts. <laughs> Are they my thoughts? What is, is my head going to be cut open? Or is it just going to be... Is it going to be drilled? <laughs> and then they're going to drain shit out of me? <sighs> I don't know. And I just went over and done with. It's three weeks till Christmas and I haven't even thought about buying my family presents yet. What the fuck? I've got about 12 books out from the uni library that are now overdue. 
but I can't face going in and bumping into people that I know. The first week that I was told this, I was so confident and just did as much as I could to distract myself from this. And now I just, I, I can barely concentrate on getting myself out of bed. Living in the shadow of myself, I just... Trying to smile at people who are around me and keep saying they care about me because I owe it to them to smile at them and pretend everything's okay. But is it? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. The woman from student finance at the uni ringing me constantly asking me to pay her. <laughs> I just want to tell her to fuck off because money at the moment is not the biggest shit happening in my life and I just, I don't give a fuck about a stupid payment. <laughs> I just want to disappear. And I'm going to run and hide somewhere. But that's not how it works, is it? I'm an adult. I have to sit here and face it like an adult. How many adults have to deal with this on a daily basis? <laughs>